your guys' class. Um, so I might do things a little bit differently, but it is okay. The reason why I might, if, if it seems a little uncomfortable or I'm asking you to say something, I am not picking on you. I just think you guys have really great ideas, okay? And I want you to explain this to me and tell me that you can talk about it. We also have lots of us in here that can help each other out, so make sure that we're utilizing and helping each other, okay? All right, so we're gonna start with the similar triangles or not, and we're establishing triangle, triangle, triangle similarity criteria. Can I get somebody to read the learning goals for me? Where's it? Oh. All right, perfect, read them nice and loud. Establish the angle, angle, a, a similarity criterion for two triangles to be similar. Establish the side, side, side similarity criterion for two triangles to be similar. Establish the side angle side similarity criterion for two triangles to be similar. All right, Just perfect. So what is something that we're doing today? Okay, what are we doing? Establishing an angle. Okay, we're establishing an angle. What type of angle? Like, what are we looking at? Specifically one angle? Mm -hmm. uh, How many? M2.3. How many angles is that? Two. Perfect. Awesome. All right, what else are we doing today? Learning. We are learning. I agree. What else are we doing? <laughs> um, I mean, that's what we're here for, right? To learn? I guess. Okay, what else are we doing? He means yes, ma'am. Establish the side, 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 similarity. Okay, so we're establishing side, 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 similarity, right? Are we doing anything else today? Yes. yes. Okay, what else are we doing? We're establishing side. So, we're establishing side, angle, side. Um, okay. Similarity. <laughs> For one, angle, one triangle, two triangles, how three. many? For three triangles? Yeah. Two. Two. Wait, three how different many ones. Triangles? It's two, right? Two, two triangles, two. right. So, so we're going to look for similarity um, between all of our stuff. Do you guys remember what makes something similar? How do we know the something angles. is similar? Oh, what about the angles? They're, equal. they're congruent. They're congruent and they're also what? The same. The same. They're congruent. I'm, I'm liking that I'm hearing a lot of great things. So we are congruent. Can it be any angles are congruent or do they need to be corresponding? Oh, corresponding yeah. angles. Perfect. All right. And then what has to be with our sides? I heard somebody say it earlier. They what? Proportional. They're proportional. What does proportional mean? Okay, it's not the same, but let's see. Let's oh, go back okay, and think about what our proportionality means. What do you guys remember about proportionality? They're, I see where you're going. They're not the same, but there's something about them. They're equal. They're equal, but how are they equal? But they're not the same, because are they the same exact numbers? No, but how are they equal? Because we do write them with an equal sign. How are they equal? Um, okay, think just think for a second. How are those equal? How are how are things proportional? Oh, they got to be like the same. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Okay, so think for a second. Go ahead and share with your table groups what you guys are thinking. Share with your table groups what you're thinking proportionality means or how you know something is proportional. Oh, <laughs> the how do we know something's from question? All the angles are the same inside of both triangles. The sides are the same. Okay, they're different, but how are they? About varieties. Yeah, they're different varieties. They're different varieties. Okay. I like three questions. All right, let's bring them back together. This table group right here. What did you guys talk about? Whenever, you know, like you simplify a fraction, it's like six and three and then four and two. Okay, and how, what, did you, what did you do to simplify that fraction? You divided them. By what? Okay, the numerator and the denominator by the same? Um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. I like I like 
I, I know where you're going with it. I'm good. Okay, how about this group? What did you guys talk about? <laughs> okay, talk to me about how it's a dilation. So one's bigger and one's smaller. So like the the fraction that you make with all the sides, then you divide them and it gets the same number. Oh, okay, it gets the same number. Okay, I like that too. Anybody else have another explanation that they want to share out? <laughs> um, I'm sure. Okay, I like the one with the fractions and we're multiplying. Do you guys remember about scaling up and scaling down? And you were uh, talking about the dilation and scale factors. So when we scale up and scale down, we're we're scaling up and scaling down by the same number, right? Same thing with the dilations, right? We're scaling up and scaling down. That way we can see if something's proportional. Can I multiply a numerator by three and a denominator by four and no. have it proportional? Uh -oh. It has to be the same. Oh, okay. It needs to be the same? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So we know that we need proportional sides for it to be similar, right? And we also know that we need our angles to be congruent. Congruent, congruent in what? You guys heard me earlier. Corresponding. And corresponding. Okay. So I want you guys to turn to the next page. All right, and we're going to look at the getting started that's on page 24, okay? Um, can somebody read number one for me? Who wants to read number one? I can. Okay, you read last time. Oh, wait, no, you read last time. You can read. All right. Okay. <laughs> Draw an example of two polygons that have corresponding angles congruent. Wait, what? Why I read it like that? <laughs> Angle congruent. But do not have corresponding size proportional. Okay, so first of all, what are polygons? So I want you guys to think to yourself really quick, what do you guys remember about polygons? Go ahead and think to yourself. It has eight sides. Six sides. Okay, think to yourself. Okay, go ahead and share with your partners and I'm going to ask you guys what do you think a polygon is? So go ahead and share with your partners. Oh, oh, oh. I think it's the stop side. Could it be a diamond? See, that's what I said. I got it right. Oh, I Okay, so what are you thinking? So what do you know about the house? What size is that? Five. And what do we call something with five sides? What do you guys think? What is something called with five sides? <laughs> You're right, it is five sides. I totally agree with that. But there's another word that we call it, and it starts with a P. It's just not a polygon. What are you thinking? Hey, what are you guys thinking? What is a polygon? It's not the same one shape like it's shaped. And what specific one is not Do they have to have parallel lines? Okay, what, is, what do you think? You said it could be lots of different sides. So what has to happen with the shape? Uh, uh, thank you. Okay, I like it. All right, let's go and bring it back together. All right, so I'm going to go to this table right over here. And tell me what you guys said a polygon was. Um, it's a shape with a bunch of different side, sides. Like it's a bunch of different shapes. Like it can be a bunch of different shapes in there. Okay, it can be a bunch of different shapes. I heard some people going, oh, it's an octagon. Oh, it's a hexagon. Oh, it's, are these all different shapes? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Is anything that has more than one side? Okay, anything that has nope. more than one side? Nope. What else has nope. to happen with those sides? They, 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 they what? Have to connect. Okay, and when they connect, what do we call that point of connection? A shape. A, 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 a vertex? A vertex. So you guys remember where they, they connect? We call those what? A vertex. A vertex, right? Okay, so we are going to draw an example of two polygons. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a chance. You're going to work with each other, so brainstorm and think about it that have corresponding angles congruent. So again, what has to happen with our angles? What do they have to be? Corresponding. Corresponding, corresponding which means, and congruent, which means they have to be what? The, the congruent. Congruent. <coughs> um. congruent. What does congruent mean? The same. same. The same. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. So we're drawing how many polygons? Two. And what do they have? 
The same. The same. Uh, <laughs> angles. The same. Angles. Angles. Uh, okay, but what kind of angles? Uh, <laughs> cor- uh, corresponding uh, angles. Uh, corresponding. Okay. Corresponding. corresponding angles. Okay. So I want you guys to work with your table group for number one, and think about two polygons that can have um, congruent corresponding angles. I'm gonna give you guys probably a minute and 57 seconds to try this with your table. Okay, go. Oh, I can do it. I can go stop my I don't know how to draw I can draw what I want. Get out. Get out. Get out. I think these are perfect. Look at my yield size. So what? You should use it. They're really nice. I like that. How do you prove that they're That they're uh, not corresponding, or for, I mean, the vertex. That they're what? That. That they are. What about the sides? They were corresponding. They were not. Proportional. Proportional. They had the same. They were what? Hold on, right here. They're not proportional. So what did you do? What were some of the strategies you used at this table here to make your sides not proportional? What did you guys do? What did you do? Uh, I didn't. Okay, a square and a rectangle, and therefore when you made your sides, what did you make sure didn't happen? 
Okay, they didn't increase mm, right yes. by the same yeah. amount. The numerator and the denominator could be not be multiplied by the same amount, right? Okay, so now I want you guys to look at number two. And I want you to think of maybe an example of polygons that have corresponding um, that are corresponding proportional sides, but don't have corresponding angles. So what is think about polygons that we know would have corresponding sides, but maybe their angles are not congruent. They're not corresponding angles. Okay, so think about that and work with each other to try to get that one. I'm gonna say circle. No, triangle. All right, no. If it's not right, this book of ribs, I think it's a thicker thing. We'll get some more of the end of the day. Nap one side. That's it looks like you are. No. Come on. Yeah. 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 They do not have corresponding angles. So what two shapes did you guys draw? Square and a rhombus. Okay, why did you draw a square and a rhombus? What's a rhombus? A diamond. That's what it is. That's okay. You know what? Sometimes these words are kind of crazy, right? So a rhombus is what? A square kind of? Like, if you put X in a diamond. Okay, and a diamond, right? No, but is a diamond a rhombus? I don't know. Yes, it is. Yes, I knew it. Okay, so yeah. So we've got all sorts of things. So again, we've got our square and our rhombus. Why couldn't we use two rectangle or two a uh, square and a rectangle for that one? Okay, because the angles would be the same. Why would my angles be the same? Because of the right angle. But they're they're like. Oh, Go ahead, no, keep going. I don't know. Why couldn't we use a square and a rectangle? What's the definition right. of them? Their lengths are different, but again, we wanted different corresponding angles. What do we know about a square and a rectangle? That they have 90 degree angles. They have 90 degree angles. Do you agree? Yes. No. Do a square and a rectangle have 90 degree angles? Yes. Yeah. 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 Right? So again, we were looking for something that had different degree angles, right? Nice. All right, so will you guys go ahead and turn it over to the next page? And we're going to look at 2.1, which this is really important. This is why we were talking about 
the corresponding angles, and we talked about proportionality for the corresponding sides, right? Being proportional. On your desk, you guys are gonna notice that I gave you guys a triangle that's already drawn, and I even measured it for you. Um, and the reason why I did this is because in the book, it asks you to do constructions, but you guys don't do constructions. So I'm going to give you, I did the construction for you. Okay, and I'm gonna have you guys use this um, piece of paper to also look and think about um, all of the different angles and things that you can identify with these triangles. So on your guys' tables, um, you guys have the sheet of paper. Oh my gosh, I cannot get these out. Actually, there you go. And I'm also gonna give you guys some patty paper. Have you guys worked with patty paper before? No, no. Patty paper. Okay. So patty paper, do you guys know where patty paper got its name? What do you guys think? It's very well named patty. Wait, what? I a hamburger. So this is the paper that comes between the hamburger patties in the grocery stores or in Costco or in any of those things, yes. That is not for me to decide. That is your teacher to decide. Do you have a problem with it? Um, so we can ask them. All right. So, okay, let's bring it back together. In five, four, three, two, one. All right. So, I want you guys to look and see, and I want you to think of the patty paper. There's the shape that's in your book the triangle that's in your book, and there's the paper that I gave you. You guys can use the patty paper, you can use your um, protractors, you can use all sorts of different things, and I want you guys to think about um, measuring the angles and the sides of the new triangle that I drew you, and measuring the angles and the sides of the triangle that's in your book. Okay, and I want you guys to identify if these two triangles are similar, and then I would like you to tell me why. Just so you guys know, when I did my construction, the E prime and the F prime are the two angles that I used to construct my triangle. So when I constructed them, I made those two angles equal to the angles that are in the book. And then I created the rest of the triangle. Okay, so I want you guys to measure, using your tools, everything you guys can about these two triangles and see if they are similar. So again, what are some great things to look at to see if these two triangles are similar? What do we need the to look angles. at? The sides. The angles and the sides. the sides. And what about the sides? Um, they're corresponding. They're, they're, they they're corresponding, they're, proportional. Proportional. they're proportional. proportional, right? So again, we want to look and make sure my corresponding sides are proportional. So go ahead, I'm gonna give you guys um, four minutes and five seconds, oh. okay? To go ahead and start measuring and doing and telling me everything you can tell me about these two triangles and telling me if they're similar or not, okay? You guys can work together and talk about measuring, okay? Go. <laughs> That's why me and Sydney are because I can play that way. Okay, so what are we doing? All right. Oh, so not for this one. Okay, um, what are you going to do? Oh, no, no, no. So what are you going to do? Can you guys have a short one in the night? I don't want me to do that. Okay, no, no, no. Are we supposed to do that? Okay, so what are you going to do? Um, I'm just going to do that. What are you going to do? We should start with this. Okay. Dumb, what are you going to do with that? I already measured these, so I gave you the measurements for that. But what should you do? 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 Yeah, it's probably Okay. 
Okay, and what could you do once you trace the triangle? How could you tell if your angles are congruent by doing that? There you go, okay. So you could do that, or you could do some protractor, right? Sure. Nice. Good job. Did you make the book too? So like. Alright. How many do you have? Wait, this is the Okay, and why might you do that? Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We could use AA because they're the same angle. Okay, we could use AA because they are the same angles, right? So if you guys will flip over to the next page. Ooh. All right, so when we're flipping over to the next page, can I get you to read the top here? The angle, angle. Similarity theorem states if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the triangle is similar. Okay, perfect. So, what is the um, theorem state right here? What is it telling me? What is the theorem telling me? Okay, so again, if the two angles of one triangle are congruent, then two angles of the other triangle, um, to two angles of the other triangle, then they are similar triangles, right? So we know that we can, if we have them where they say they're congruent, we know we have enough information, okay? So I want you guys to look at the worked example really quick, and I want you guys to identify just in the side column everything you guys can about this shape here. Tell me everything you know about that shape on the worked example. From the, um, angles that are congruent to, or to angles, like how you might find other angles, to anything that you guys <coughs> know. Go on the right, everything down that you know on the side. Okay. Yep, anything for the shape. What do you guys know about this? Wait, 
So just think about everything you guys can about the shoe. What do you guys know? Okay. Angle. Power A and E the same. How do you know that? That's a square. Okay, it has a square. What does that square represent? There you go. Good job. Five. Okay. What do you know about this whole shit? Not you. Two triangles. Okay. How do you know that those are equal? Because they have the same angle. Yeah. Okay. What does the little square mean? Uh, 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 what? Who? 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 So we know that those are that was the because they're 90 degree angles. What else do you know? And, and the two oh, angles right now. Why are they um, Because they have the same angle. Why are they two center angles congruent? All right. I've never learned how to write it. I'm going to get a meal. I'm going to get a meal. I'm going to determine whether we have enough information to decide if these triangles are congruent or not. So this table right here, what is something that you guys wrote? Oh, there's vertical angles. Did everybody write down vertical angles? Where? What are vertical angles? Where are vertical angles? They're across from each other. They're across from each other. Okay, can anybody name the vertical angles? Yes. What is it? A and E. A and E. Are those vertical angles or what are those angles? That's okay. Corresponding. They're corresponding in how many degrees? 90. How do you know that they're 90? Because it makes a square. Because, because it makes, or it has a little square thing, right? Okay. So that's how you know they're 90. What makes our vertical angles? Where are vertical angles? Because they're both C. They're both C. How would we name C? How would we name the vertical angles? What? It needs three. How would we name it? What is that? Wait, hold on. Here we go. Okay, what is one? B, C, E, and A, C. B, C, E. B, C, A, and then B, C, E. Right? Okay, so what I want you guys to do is I want you to flip back to the learning goals on page 23, and I want you to think about which learning goals we covered today and how, and share with your table group. Of learning, I learned that corresponding angles and congruent angles have to be. 